Hey, hey! We are playing some more Outward. And uh, yeah, we are also playing with the hardcore character, so we do need to try and not die, which is uh, <laughs> kind of a challenge for me, but uh, yeah. So far, we are doing okay at least. And it did actually earn a tribal favor in the last. Uh, no, yeah, in one of the last episodes. So we should probably turn that in. So we are on our way to Risa to do so. I should be able to find her over here. Greetings. How go your efforts? It, yeah, it's going just fine, I guess. You have a way to make that payment. Show me. We have earned a tribal and favor. And on time, too. I'm impressed. Well done. Thank you. Sierzo, Oliel and Izan are leaving Sierzo. Okay. Oliel is leaving to go join the holy mission of Elat. As will we all. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. This is troubling. Hmm. This is unacceptable. So, looks like we are... Yeah, I guess we aren't losing two of our friends, but they are definitely leaving, see so. This is the way things have to be. Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. Okay, we will. So, let's go say goodbye. So yeah, we will say our goodbyes and... I uh, think we will try to go over to Blister Burrow during this episode. See if we can't find that uh, Garnet over there. We, yeah, might not <laughs> stay alive long enough to actually be able to spend that thing, but uh, we should definitely try. But yeah, first things first, let's talk to Oliel. I guess this is goodbye. I'm leaving this place to join the holy mission. I'll miss it too. Risa has done some things I can't agree with. I can't talk about it. Okay. All right. Listen. Now we're talking. The holy mission is about more than just working under a manifested god. Yeah, I guess we do need to figure out which uh, faction we will join. Thinking about the Soraborian Academy. And yeah, I guess we probably will do that. Maybe we, we will see. Have discipline and mastery over yourself. I wonder... If you do want to join us, meet me in Monsoon, in the Hallowed Marsh. Yeah, maybe we will even start... Uh, yeah, if there's time, we will start our journey towards Monsoon. Once in the marsh, follow the Pilgrim Road. But yeah, I guess we will see. But yeah. After Blistering Burrow and the Garnet, don't think we will have uh, yeah much else to do over here. So I guess the whole of Mars is the next uh, destination for us. Let's talk to Yasan as well. I take it you've heard the news? Come to see your old pal off? I've got one little fishing barge to my name, and by a lad, I'm going to use it. The heroic kingdom believes in chasing progress to create a better world. Sounds good. Listen. That I will. I will chase the Levantine dream and make it my own. Not in a thousand years. Yeah, we should probably have a talk to Roland as well. Damn it. Likewise, my friend. If you plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot, be prepared for a long, long journey. Yeah, I guess we will journey over there eventually. If you have the courage to face the Abrasar Desert, I'll be waiting for you. Okay, then. So, I'm wondering, can we do some more fishing? Does not really look like, uh, yeah, we can do that. So let's head over to Roland instead. Have a quick.
quick talk to him before we head back up to Risa. Should be able to find him over here. This is awful. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't sound so happy. Hmm. Hey, listen. But there we go. I got some potions. So yeah, at least that's nice. Do we really... yeah, I guess we are bringing all of the potions. Why not? So, we'll head back up to Risa, talk to her, and uh, then we will set out and see if we can't get over to Blister Burrow. Should probably drink some water out as well. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we have... Uh, yeah, done all the inventory management we need. So, we should be ready to head out after we have talked to Risa. There you are. Urgent news just came in. This is troubling. I'm going to Berg, the main settlement in the Enmakar forest. Okay. I have an offer. I will pay off the rest of your blood price and adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline. Oh, that's nice, I guess. It's... complicated. Yeah, everything's complicated. The Blue Chamber Collective is about coming together as a family. Well then... It's your choice. Yeah, I don't think we will do that, but uh, thanks for offering, I guess. Your life is in your hands. You will need to prepare travel rations. Ah, travel rations. Hmm? Listen well. There we go. We've got three travel rations as well. Do we need those if we want to hand over to the Hollow Mars? And uh, yeah, we could uh, drop them off back in the lighthouse, but yeah, we will probably... Yeah, let's not do that. So. With all that taken care of, we should be good to start, uh, let's see, yeah, here we go, Helen's Fungus. Guess we will look for her Helen's Shield as well, while we are over there, Earn a little bit uh, extra silver, won't hurt, and uh, yeah, quick stop by the merchant Greetings, here. Greetings, friend. Yeah, let's... Actually, we sh should probably not sell the potions. Yeah, let's get rid of some of the eggs, maybe. But, uh, yeah. I think we are pretty good inventory-wise. So, yeah, let's head over to Blister Barrow. Let's grab some berries along the way. And looks like we have a pearl bird up ahead, but uh, yeah, obviously since we have the mask, I think we should let that thing live and yeah, do its own thing. <laughs> Some more berries. Oh, and a beetle. That's nice. Guess we will have a quick look inside of this thing. Yeah, why not? Let's grab that. Oh, and there looks like there's another pearl bird up ahead. But yeah, we will try to avoid him as well. Yeah, it feels kind of weird not <laughs> taking care of the pearl birds. But yeah don't need to so let's not should find blister bro over here let's grab some oil because I believe there's some thick oil over here and then we will have a look for that garnet so 
some light might help and uh, oh yeah some heavy fur armor do we want yeah i guess we'll grab it for now so yeah let's pick up everything until our backpack is full at least and uh, yeah we will worry about stuff then and yeah i do need to <laughs> remember that i'm playing with a hardcore character might actually just end up forgetting that and dying to something stupid i guess i there's a good chance i will die to something stupid even though i don't forget that i'm playing a hardcore character that's definitely possible some common mushrooms no thank you actually let's head this way i think grab some more loot yeah, nothing too exciting. I should probably break some of that down. And yeah, I guess if we... Yeah, we will see. But if we can, we should probably see if we can have the focus and the rage spoon active. We'll make it so our yeah weapon skill do more damage. But then again, we should probably save... Yeah, maybe we should save the potions. Don't actually have the skill yet. So I think we will save the potions, so we can be sure that we actually can apply at least one of the buffs when we have to deal with uh, yeah more of the harder enemies inside of here. Here we go. Let's, oh, are you running away? You are. Why? There we go. Let's grab this oil as well. And uh, yeah, probably have some food we should eat. Let's at least get some magical protection. We never know when we will come across that spellcaster or one of the spellcasters inside of here. Do we get the Hackmanite? Yes, we do. It's a good, good day. <laughs> Probably the only one that gets so happy from a Hackmanite, but uh, yeah, I will take it. More loot, anything we want. Fungal Cleanser, yeah, that might come in handy. And yeah, I guess we are grabbing the mining pick and the sandals as well. But yeah, that will have to do. Yeah, don't need to head down that way. That's where we grab the oil. Oh, hello. There we go. We do have some friends, so let's see if we can take out this guy behind this stone pillar. There we go. And I guess we will continue to try and use that thing for cover. There we go. So far so good. And uh, yeah, I don't think he should be too hard to deal with. No, definitely not. Oh, we do have some more life now than his friends, but down he goes. And uh, yeah. Do need to pay attention to our stamina though. But apart from that, we are, yeah, doing decent, I would say. No. Oh. Let's, uh, yeah. Do the fighting up here on flat ground. Actually, let's eat some paste as well, or no, let's drink some tea. That should take care of the burnt stamina. And let's, uh, yeah, have a quick look down here. Yeah, there we go. That's a unique enemy inside of here. We won't drop any crafting materials, but uh, 
yeah should probably deal with him anyway oh yeah I do like that attack let's grab that oh and here we go that's uh, the reason for us coming here so let's grab the garnet and uh, yeah obviously we will grab all of the other loot as well if we can yeah, we don't want his weapon though, but let's do some mining. Let's see, how are our weapon doing? Yeah, kind of decent. There we go, a small sapphire. And let's see. Yeah, we aren't replacing that, but I think we should be able to break it down. There we go. Anything else we can break down? Yeah, let's do those as well. But yeah, I guess you do get more money for those sandals than for a rag. So yeah, if you just want silver, you should probably sell the sandals. Oh, there we go. Potions and some tea and some bullets we won't be using, but uh, yeah. There we go. Do you have a friend down here as well? Maybe not. So maybe we should uh, apply a rag. Frost one. Why not? And uh, yeah, let's drop off the backpack because that's probably... Actually, let's fight uh, inside of that other room here. That's probably better. Yeah, of course, now he went out into the hallway. Where did he go? Hello? Oh. It's way over there. How did that happen? So it's definitely possible to avoid that guy, apparently. And yeah, I guess if he doesn't want to fight. But yeah, we did actually use a rag, so... How did you happen to end up... Oh yeah, we do have a potion we should use as well. <laughs> yeah, and our rag will probably be over by the time I'm ready to fight, but that's, uh, yeah, usually how it goes, isn't it? I guess we can apply a new one. So let's see, and uh, yeah, let's do a potion. Oh, and we are running out of time, apparently. And yeah, let's do that as well. And then we will see if we can't... Uh, This guy. Oh yeah, do you need to do a lot more impact damage apparently? Oh come on. There we go. Just need to knock him to the ground and uh, yeah, don't stop knocking I guess. That works. And uh, yeah, we are rewarded with a dark varnish and uh, yeah, some oil and a mana stone. So we will grab that. And I I think we should be able to get some more water up here. Yeah, and there we go. And yeah, let's... Uh, at least if we can... Don't we have... Yeah, there we go. We do have some bandages, so let's use one. And I think there should be another spellcaster around, maybe? Yeah, I never remember if there's two or three. No, sorry, one or two of those. Not counting that unique enemy. But yeah. Should be able to find out eventually. Yeah, looks like it's just us. So yeah, let's grab the content of the throw chest. Or at least most of it. We will leave, yeah, common mushroom and yeah, our shield. And we will do some mining. Did get the gravel beetle though, so that's uh, something I guess. And yeah, I think that we are pretty much done in this place. Unless we find, yeah, some more enemies on our way out. Did came, or we did come down that way, so let's, uh, yeah, head over in this direction. We can run around in circles inside of this place, so yeah, if we continue to move in the 
same direction. You should get back to the entrance. And uh, pretty sure, yeah, here we go. That's the first troglodyte we fought. So here we go. This should lead us back out. And uh, yeah, did get that uh, mushroom shield for Helm. So I think we will head back to Cierso. Turn in the shield and uh, yeah, probably sell some stuff. And then we will see if we can start our journey towards the hollowed Mars. Back in Cierso. So let's head up to Helm and uh, have a talk to her. We can actually sell the garnet we found as well. But yeah, we will make sure not to do that. Let's see, do we have... No, we don't actually. So should probably see about making some more food as well before we head back out. But yeah, first things first, let's talk to Helen. Greetings, friend. Lend me your ear. We found the rare mushroom shield you wanted. You've earned this. Thank you. So there we go. That's taken care of. I think we have, uh, yeah. To definitely sell that armor unless we are actually thinking about using it but um, yeah we'd rather have the armor we are currently wearing greetings friend greetings so let's get rid of that thing anything else yeah I don't think we will be needing the cold stones or the hide or the scraps I guess we could probably use the spikes for traps. But yeah, for now let's uh, yeah sell most of what we got and let's see. There we go. Let's grab three gold ingots as well. And let's see anything else. Yeah, let's get rid of one of the mining picks, I guess. Let's see, do we have... yes we do. Luckily, don't need to head back up to the lighthouse. We could make some more food down here. So let's do that real quick before we head back out. I think that uh, is uh, yeah, more than good enough. And obviously, since we can, we will grab some fish. We will obviously have a look at the other two fishing spots as well. And yeah, we will head towards the Hollow Mars, but we should definitely visit the friendly Immaculate. See if he can learn us a skill. There we go. And yeah, let's grab some more water, why not? And I'm pretty sure we are good to go. I am wondering, do we want to bring a cooking pot or and an alchemy kit? Don't really have uh, yeah too much room inside of our backpack. Let's see, do we have... Uh, actually, let's uh, grab the cooking pot. We can always leave it behind if we want to grab uh, or gather more loot instead. So yeah. What can I? All right. Yeah, I think we are good. Actually, let's. Yeah. Let's head out. So, next up, a friendly Maclet. And uh, yeah, obviously, we will see if we can do some mining along the way, at least. And maybe, yeah, see if we can't uh, have a look inside of some of the supply caches around. Sounds like a good idea to me, at least. Yeah, I guess we'll have a look inside of this thing as well. Yeah, why not? As long as we have room. Let's uh, eat some more food as well. 
Should help with our stamina. And I'm pretty sure that there should be a rich iron vein up here. I think there might be a Vindigo as well, so yeah. <laughs> Do need to look out for that thing. That's probably nothing we want to fight at this point. But yeah, looks like he's not here at the moment. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Anything good? Yeah, I guess a gravel beetle. It's always nice. And yeah, there should be a couple of supply caches over in this direction as well. You can actually see one down there. But I think there's another one over in this area. And maybe some eggs somewhere. Maybe not. Oh, the eggs are over here, I think. Yeah, there we go. They are not easy to see. Yeah, I guess we can grab a couple of trip wire traps. After all, we do have some spikes we can use with those traps. And yeah, let's break down that thing as well. We will have a look inside of that other supply cache as well. After we have, yeah, drink some water. Oh yeah, there should be some mining opportunities down here as well. Which is, yeah, always nice. At least we got some thick oil. Oh, there we go. That's, uh, yeah, actually what we are looking for. Power coils. Do need one more though, if we want to grab that nice, nice backpack. Oh, let's slide down here, do some more mining. Oh, there we go, medium ruby. Some more berries. Let's see if we can get down here without breaking our legs. That would be great. There are a couple of bandits over there. Would be great if we could, yeah, not get their attention. Yeah, let's grab all of that. Oh, and that filled up our backpack at least. Are we safe behind here? Probably not. <laughs> and yeah, let's... No, let's not equip the mining pick, but uh, we will drop it off. We do have two of them. Oh yeah, there they are. So, yeah, I guess we are supposed to head in that direction, but there is another supply cache down here. So I guess we might as well head over in this direction and have a look before we continue on. And uh, yeah, I think the bandit saw us, but uh, hopefully we will be able to, yeah, shake them off our tail. Oh, a pearl bird over there. Yeah, <laughs> it's so weird not to deal with the pearl birds. Oh well. So, here we go, let's have a look. Yeah. Actually, let's grab that, why not? And uh, yeah, I think next stop should be the friendly immaculate. We should be, let's see, yeah, over. Yeah, where should we be? Yeah, over here. And the friendly maglet should be down over here, so not too far. Obviously we will steal his stuff, because uh, yeah, that's the kind of people we are, I guess. Do we want some salt? No, I think we are good. Actually, do we have any salt? No, we do not. 
So I guess we will grab, yeah, at least that one. And let's stay hydrated. I guess we could eat some more. How much paste do we actually have? Yeah, we have a decent amount of paste. And it actually looks like it's about to get dark as well. So maybe we should find a place to rest before we travel over to the hallowed Mars. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, first things first, let's see if we can't have a talk and maybe learn something from the friendly Macklet. Should be able to find him over here to the left. can actually find him in every area and yeah maybe we should do that as well yeah we will see we'll do some mining before we pop into his cave let's turn on some light and we will yeah have a look inside of here oh some heavy stuff probably but that's uh, yeah how it goes I guess We'll do some mining and we will see if we can't learn that skill I was talking about. Can you help me? And uh, yeah, let's go for... We need power. And there we go. Teach it to me, please. And there we are. The possessed boon has been learned. So... It is about to get dark, so I'm wondering if we just should spend the night inside of here. Don't know if this is a safe place to rest, but uh, we are about to find out. There we go, let's deploy one of these. Let's see how are, yeah, I guess we should repair our weapon, so that's okay. Should probably have turned out the lantern, but yeah, too late now. <laughs> Yeah, not really. So, oh yeah, this is a safe place, maybe. Yeah, this is a safe place to rest, so that's nice. So, let's get some sleep and, uh, yeah, we'll spend uh, three hours repairing. Back outside and, uh, yeah, I guess it would be stupid not to visit uh, the supply caches on the way over to the hollow Mars. And yeah, I guess if we are lucky and get that uh, second power coil that we need for the backpack, we will probably head over and grab that. And let's see how, yeah, how many supply caches will we actually visit? Four, is that right? Let's grab that. And yeah, yeah, I think there's three more. There's actually a lot more if we, yeah, <laughs> start heading in the opposite direction. But uh, yeah, we will, we will visit the ones on the way. But um, yeah, we'd like to move towards the whole of Mars at least. I'm getting some nice loot though from oh, oh, and the pearl bird, an angry one for some reason. Yeah kind of a dilemma we'd like to do some fishing without being attacked oh yeah that was close be nice little birdie yeah don't know why he's angry with us really I guess we got too close to him but yeah we have dealt with enough pearl birds so we will move on do need to find a spot to yeah drop or move some remove something from this backpack because <laughs> it is getting kind of heavy. And yeah, I think we lost the pearl bird as well. Yeah, looks like we are good for now at least. Oh and yeah, we do have a decent amount of stuff that we can break down as well. So let's start with that. And uh, yeah, anything else we want to drop off? I guess we could move some potions up into our pockets. Yeah, not that many though. <laughs> yeah, let's eat some food and we will be good, hopefully. 
Yeah. So, we are just outside of the Ghost Pass, or the yeah fort, which is marked on the map. Won't enter this place, but uh, there are some easy to grab loot outside. And a supply cache as well. So yeah, we will grab the loot and have a look inside of that thing. And obviously, do you need those ghost eyes eventually when we get mana. And yeah, there should be another one over here. There we go. Let's see. Do we get another power coil? No, we do not. So let's see. Yeah, it is a bit. I guess we do have stuff we can drop, but it is a bit rough to head into the whole of Mars with, uh, yeah, a super heavy backpack. But uh, yeah. Hopefully we will manage. Oh, there should be some oil down here as well. Let's grab that. Oh, and uh, yeah. So I believe you can encounter the Vendigo over in this area as well. Looks like there are a couple of bandits here now instead. So yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> A lot less exciting than the Wendigo, but uh, probably a lot safer as well. So, I think there should be a supply cache over here. Yeah. We will have a look. And, yeah. Oil bomb and some more tripwire traps. Let's go with that. And yeah, there's our last one we will visit before we head over to, yeah, just over there actually, where we will turn to the whole of Mars. But let's have, yeah, a look at one last supply cache before we do that. And yeah, I think that will be the end of the episode as well. Because yeah, we are actually running out of time. But yeah, so last chance for a power coil. Yeah, no luck. There we go. And yeah, we do probably have to... Yeah, another pearl bird. And you leave them alone. They are everywhere, apparently. Yeah, they are probably talking to each other, I guess. Or something. Did we have a look inside of this thing? No, we did not. But yeah, we do need to... Drop off some stuff, and I guess these arrows will be left behind. Anything else? Yeah, some common mushrooms. Yeah, we'll probably never remember to use that oil bomb, so let's leave that behind as well. And uh, yeah, anything else? No, not for now at least. But yeah, I think we'll wrap up the episode there. We should be able to travel to the whole Mars just up ahead, so yeah, we will continue in the whole of Mars in the next episode. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and as always, a big special thank you to all the people that like, subscribe and comment to my videos. I really do appreciate that, so thank you so, so much. I'm JT, take care, and bye-bye.